data uh, very well that uh, you know going ahead and, and removing wolves either in a remedial manner or perhaps more importantly in a preventative manner uh, does not result in decreased livestock depredations the subsequent year. It is actually associated with increased livestock depredations the following year. Now this is a large-scale study and, and so maybe you know a lot of people have looked at this going how can this be? And uh, it, it's because it's a large-scale study you might think well how can removing wolves result in increased livestock depredations? And we haven't looked at that yet. All we know is, you know, the exact causal mechanism. But we do know that wolves show uh, compensatory effects. Uh, you know, like many other animals, if you kill some, maybe you get more breeding pair. We did see increased breeding pairs following uh, removal of wolves in this data set. I just didn't report it here. But uh, a lot of other researchers have found uh, density-dependent compensatory effects until, of course, you kill them at greater than the intrinsic growth rate, and then you counteract and negate those compensatory effects. Now, that's in the large scale. Remember, this study was done for the wolf-occupied zone in each year in each state, right? So we did it for Idaho, we did it for Montana, we did it for Wyoming, and we did it for all of it combined. But it's still large. Some other folks have indicated that uh, uh, lethal interventions work when they're looking at a grazing allotment or an individual pack. And of course that makes sense and we agree with that. If you kill the depredating wolves in a pack, that pack is no longer going to be depredating any wolves because they're gone. Right? Or if you eliminate the wolves out of a grazing allotment, of course you're not going to have uh, increased depredations in the allotment if there are no wolves remaining in that allotment. But what we're looking at is a larger scale thing. You might want to think of this as something like whack-a-mole, if you're familiar with that game. You whack one mole, and you look, oh, the mole is gone. If you have a wider vision, you whack the mole, and you go, oh my goodness, three other moles just popped up. And what we think may be happening is that we may have a whack-a-mole situation with wolves. Basically, you're reducing depredations on the one grazing allotment, only to increase depredations on adjacent allotments in the following years. So it, it could be that this lethal control is indeed effective for local, temporary reductions, but it doesn't appear to be very effective as a long-term solution over a wider scale, unless the wolf population is actually killed at a, at a rate higher than the intrinsic growth rate of the wolves, and you cause a population decline. 